So what do you guys think about the K-pop look? I love it. What's, what's K-pop look? It. Uh, or like mm. the Asian male oh, look. Dante has opinions. You I have opinions, it. okay. Get canceled right now, see? Yeah. No, 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 it's I cool. It's it. cool. I think when I was younger, I would have been like down with, I mean, I, I, watch out for the armies, dude. I'm with my brothers, like the Bosco brothers being a band growing up, we, we were like born into a boy band, so. Mm. I'm with that, but I- It's I, just a I, different generation. I think it's a different generation, and now when you look at it, like we grew up with like New Edition, New Kids on the Block, and then you went to NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. Yeah. But you know, they are the same look. You just see Asians mm. doing it. I kind of get a kick out of it. I just saw one of the, uh, the videos of mm. uh, BTS. Yeah. I mean, you know, Asians do it big. It's like, yeah. America, we got like five guys. We know the five guys. There'll be like Kim 20 names. The, 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 the tough one, the, you know, we know the guy. The one that's too yeah, old yeah. for the group, the but he's in there. Old, the weird <laughs> one. But when the Asians do it, they got like, they got every trope. 12, yeah. 20. Yeah, it's so many. They but then old. also the music videos too are so like, and captivating. I'm like, whoa. They're all wearing makeup too, but like, I, I mean, I, I mean, the guys are wearing makeup and hair dyed. I mean, you, you I mean, have to wear industry that wears yeah, yeah, makeup. Yeah, 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 but I'm not trying to wear makeup every day. <laughs> That's a lot. That's like. It is a lot. I mean, but I mean, it's not new, right? Like, dudes been made wearing makeup, makeup here in like in the 80s and shit. Fuck yeah, like, like the, the hair bands. Like, and all that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, it's yeah, him yeah. melting that. It's just not for everybody. But they're also going hard. They're contouring. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're like. The eyebrows, really, they gotta get they them. Got the they gotta get them right. They got. They have a new member of the boy band. That's like kind of like the trans member. Mm -hmm. We don't know. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's kind of really? cool. They're like they're yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're evolving. Yeah. They're, they're, they're very ambiguous. They have so. Right. They're like thirty one. They're like Baskin Robbins of right. boy bands, right? <laughs> It's like, Some they even flavors. bring like the fat one and then it's like yeah. the unattractive one and then like everyone is there. A lot of them are non-Korean too now. Are they? Yeah, yeah like K-pop, it doesn't really? have to be Really? I thought they yeah. had like at least some sort of Korean tie. I mean, there's, no, I'm saying like in the group there'll be one Korean. Whereas before it'd be like everyone's Korean. Like, mm. like when I was in junior high, but then now it's like, there's a good Chinese guy and there's a Thai, Thai, Thai girl yeah, or it's like. That is Filipino, right? right there. Yeah. yeah. But they all have to learn Korean. Korean? Yeah. 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 You, Korean said, you, you said you liked uh, the look. What do you? What about do. the look do you like? I think I really like that they just came into the space and they created their own like little universe. Like, yeah. like K-pop, it's its own thing. Like they revolutionized just music all around. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of different countries that come in and then they try to adopt the Western style of everything because yes. like the Western style has been number one. But K-pop was like, nah, we don't want our own thing. And they fucking smashed it. I love it. I fucking That's love true. it. That's true. I do think I it's cool that they created their own definitions. And it wasn't almost, it's almost like, you know, a lot of people, they kind of create their parameters and they kind of explore. But for them, they already had very detailed, like creative direction on exactly what it is. Cause I grew up in Cerritos, so there's a lot of Koreans. And I've been seeing like full on K-pop shit since I was like, 10, 11, and that was stuff that I completely didn't even understand. What was, it, was it the same then as it is now? Yeah, crazy yeah. ass blonde hair all up in the yeah. face like this. Remember oh. them dudes, DJ Doc? And then they had the TL, they always had haircuts like from TLC. Yeah, like that, like Edward Scissorhands looking yeah, shits. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. if Beyonce had a haircut, oh, K-pop really? dudes were copying it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's funny. That's why it was kind of funny. Yeah, it was kind of funny back then. What do you ask? Well, I ask because now China has been getting in on this like pop C -pop. music scene. There's C-pop. There's been. Yeah, they've C been having C-pop. Chai pop, chai. Yo, no, Chinese pop, pop is so I different know. though. Chai pop, get on that chai pop. <laughs> Chinese pop looks like a, a Cirque show, and it is the craziest <laughs> thing. Yeah, man, like it is, it is its own thing. I saw one time a performance. A man was in a peacock outfit, and I thought I was watching like you know Hunger Games when the when the athletes come in and they're in these crazy ass costumes and stuff. He was doing a whole performance like that. Wow. Hella off key, but it was just like really dope. Yeah, C pop is is not my thing. <laughs> also, I haven't seen no C pop. I see J pop, but I haven't seen no C. -pop. Growing up, growing up, C pop to me was like Andy Lau and shit. Yeah, well, that's, that's like Hong so. There's, there's already an established C pop, right. but I kind of feel like what you're alluding to is boy band, like copying the cake pop. Right. Well, yeah. there was F four. Wasn't, like, 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 wasn't there like a Chinese band called F four? F U F four. I remember it was like one F twenty four. F. And there was like twenty four members. F twenty four. Isn't that where people work out? F forty five. I think it is. My friend works there. Uh, all right. So we all know K pop is known for uh, you know very petite 
you know, boy look, boyish charm. I mean, they're Asian. Know. Yeah, that's true. But you know, they're known for their very, their very skinny physique and uh, very contoured faces and stuff like that. I didn't know like that. I thought they were buff. <laughs> Oh, well, some, yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Not all of them, but BTS, for example, like being like the kind of the poster child of this. Uh, I mean, none of them remind me of Vin Diesel. No, they're not. That's true, <laughs> that's no, true. No, 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 no. No, but more like soccer players, but then I probably don't watch enough K-pop to understand. I just remember people had posters of them and I'm like, oh shit, dude, these guys are pretty ripped for Asian guys. Oh, and they then, are, they are. And then it was like, um, I don't know if they're K-pop or K Korean actors. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, so in China, they've come out with a new boy band. Uh, I'll tell you the, uh, the oh name God. later. But, uh, Is it Corona related? No, there's not Corona related. Corona boys? Thank Ooh, God it's boys. not Corona related. <laughs> but they're basically coming out as a antithesis to K-pop in a sense that they're trying to go against the grain oh, of being the like the, the, so the like small gothy? frame. They're That's called the they're Produce bad. Pandas. Produce pandas, what? and they've embraced the chubbier style. dad bods. Okay, dad bods, like just chubbier on the face, you That's know, new. stockier. Wait, what was that one band? Do you guys remember? It was this Chinese band that came out, and they were making like Chinese trap music. Yeah, oh, uh, but uh, it's uh, idiot, they're, yeah. They're, they're signed to Idiot Rising. Uh, Something. I was listening to them for a while. I like them, but I thought that was cool too. Like they yeah. came out really different. Yeah, that was, that was really cool. And there was like different, like there was like a Chinese guy. A, There's a, like a fat shirtless guy. Yeah, yeah. That one's my favorite, yeah. the singer. <laughs> the fashion. That was cool. Yeah. Why are they called produce? I get the panda part with produce, like. I th well, they, like they grocery think, store they, produce, or are they produce? I think so. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe yeah, yeah, like producer, like producer beef. Is it produce me? Produce or beef? is it a double entendre? Or is where it like, like yeah. cabbage and carrots and stuff? It yeah. might be because they sing about eating. Oh, I love food, man. So, so here's some a couple pictures. Yeah. Here's a. So maybe, oh, it's like a parody band. Are they a parody band? I think so. I mean, they're talking about food all day, and they're embracing their fatness in a K-pop style. True. They're not even that fat. Well, not they're parody, not but like really jokes, you know. They're not like the fat boys. Don't put them to the American standard. Bro, because yeah, that's, that's some true. fucked up yeah, fat. That's true. true. Their idea of fat and their idea of buff is different from ours. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, when I first saw the photo, I was like, I don't get it. Like, they're just average Joes. Yeah. They're like, like just, average. Yeah. They're just called like whatever dudes. It looks like <laughs> 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 whatever dudes. <laughs> Dope name not too. Fat enough. All right, I have a little. We should start a band. Whatever, whatever dudes. dudes. Yeah. Yeah. I have a little snippet here, here we go. Damn, yeah, hold on a second, they're orange belts. Here we go. <laughs> That's their average, dude. I was an orange belt too, as high as I got. Oh shit. Pizza in one hand. Chicken feet? That's funny. I'm with it. Wow. Hot pot is hot, no. hot, hot. There's literally thinking about hot, eating chicken feet in hot pot. <laughs> I have a hot pot. I wonder if uh, Ken just choreographed this. Oh yeah, it's Mike, Mike song do this? <laughs> <laughs> they got studios out there. Yeah, I know. They're fun. Yeah, it's They're catchy. Cool, yeah, that's I'm with cool. it. I like it. Yeah, I think it's dope. I do have to say though, like, the difference between what comes out of Asia when I was in high school and junior high versus now is so, so different. True. I'm hella like happy with the content that's being out of there. But before, it felt like info and style and all that shit went to Asia a little bit too late. Like 10 years late. 10 years late. 10 years late. Cause like my parents generation, the way that they took like jazz and American music and then made it Japanese style was so fucking sick. And then, um, I don't know, but then like, come the 80s and on, it was really fucking weird, man. And I was like, man, you're just trying to copy, and it's so lame, the way that they did right, it. Right, right. It was like a pop version of like, watching Western culture, and then just stealing it, and then doing it really bad. Like, mm -hmm. they were offbeat, they had really bad skills, and I was like, what the fuck, dude, this is so weird. And they got stuck in the 80s for a long time. <laughs> yeah, it was stuck. And like now, yeah. I think we all can just see stuff in real time, and yeah. it's not like we're waiting to get that. But that's now the video. shit that's coming oh. out of Asia is so sick, like they take the stuff that they learn, but then they also put their own twist on it, and I'm like, that's pretty dope. I also think that's just part of the development. Like you kind of have to, like, 
put out a bunch of shitty stuff, and then eventually, like, you find your voice. It took them, like, 20 yeah. years, but they did it, dude. <laughs> they did it. To be on regular radio and hear, like, a BTS song or one of the BTS guys with, like, an American artist just rapping in it's Korean wild. on American radio. Wild. I'm like, dude, we never, you might hear some Spanish songs, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Lighter Shade of Brown or something. You we see had some, Feliz Navidad. You said Feliz Navidad. La Bamba, La Bamba. You know? But we never had no... I, I would say the Asians, I yeah. can't speak any The original was Sukiyaki, man. Oh, Sukiyaki. That was like in the 50s oh, or something. But I only know the American oh, version. Dana. Me too. The original came out as a hit in Japanese. Really, Sukiyaki? Yeah. The only one I know is the Boys to Men one. Yep. I know that too, of course. <laughs> that was the first Gundam style, dude. I have no idea what the song is. That's some old gangster music. That, Cause that's, that's like, that's like, that's part of the, you know, the oldest We're, show. That was like it's our like grandparents' like, generation. Yeah. We listen to that. We listen to that song. I love that Sukiyaki. Yeah, that was Gangnam Style back in 19 whatever, really? 60 or Sukiyaki, 50 or whatever. Sukiyaki, number one Asian yeah. hit. First Asian hit, huh? It's old. Yeah, wow. yeah. First Asian hit on the AM radio. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now we got one of the guys. I don't even know, but I don't know the, the names of BTS. You know, like we knew the names of all the other boy oh, bands. Yeah. There's know. probably a James Park in there. I don't know. Do we know the John name? John Lee, probably. None of them? Is it because we're old? Because, like, yeah, new, kids, well, so. new kids on the block, we know the names of them. I, I don't know, know them. <laughs> I don't my know. Generation. That's before me. <laughs> okay, okay, NSYNC. Oh, oh. I know all of NSYNC. NSYNC, you know all the names. Backstreet Justin, Boys. Justin, Chris, Lance, uh, Joey, yeah. JC. That was my generation, but I refuse okay. to learn them. What <laughs> other generation you are have a boy band, you gotta know the name of the boy band guys. I thought I was too cool, man. Yeah, I only like fucking like old classic rock shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so no NSYNC? No, now I love it. But like growing up, you know, you didn't want to No, you were like, definitely not so into that. Like, now, yeah. And now I don't mind listening to Backstreet Boys. Now you're like, saying, bye, bye, bye. bye. Exactly. <laughs> to be about that shit, because I was 11 when they came out. Like, I think that's I was pop appropriate. Seven yeah. and seven and like 12, seven and 12. Like that was my instinct time. I think our version of boy band was Easy e Dr. Dre. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> true, that's true. Like that's what all I knew. But when I you look like, back, it was a boy band. You didn't think about it like that, but now- This is the boy band with different colors. Yeah, yeah, and different <laughs> intents. Different outfits. Different, different intent. They had their own gimmick. Yeah. I feel like I was allowed to listen to pop until uh, the end of elementary school and in junior high and on if you still listen to pop people are bullying you Yeah, you can't and then unless you're a girl or whatever. That's true because I, I In eighth grade is when I started going more towards like my rock scene. Yeah, I moved away So in junior high you're supposed to be like oh fuck mainstream. No, I I would Classify it as rock, I guess. I don't know. Just rock, rock, classic rock. Cause I like System of a Down and Sync. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? Link, That's Linkin alternative. Park. Oh. In Sync is a hardcore no, no, no. rock band. That's what I said. Wait, what? <laughs> like I don't know, Linkin Park. I mean, that was like more alternative. Yeah. Yeah. Linkin yeah. Park's like, pop. Like yeah. 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 You look. You think of it now. You think I was hardcore back then. You're like, that's super. <laughs> no, even back then I didn't think it was hardcore. <laughs> when you're in the midst of it though, you don't. Know. I remember when Limp Biscuit came out. I fucking love that. <laughs> Yeah, they're so corny. So some songs are corny now, but like yeah, yeah. there was like certain songs were dope. I just thought it was dope, like the whole hip hop and rock going like that. Oh, yeah. I thought it was so cool. Yeah, I thought it was Lincoln so tight. Park was great. It's like scream. It was like watered down screamo. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I think it's and watered down rap. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think about the raps? Oh, the raps. Were good. I mean, I like the rap. I mean, I like Lincoln Park. I like you know. Yeah, Hybrid Theory is my favorite. Album. Hybrid Theory is great. What happened to Sum Forty One? My favorite part. My favorite oh, yeah, is their <laughs> their uh, the one with Jay Z, the, the the mashup album they did. Oh, that was yeah. that, so was, that cool. was really really tight. But Sum Forty One. That's that's great. <laughs> 